So today I want to talk about my favorite guitar. This is my Novo Ceres J. This was my first Novo I ever purchased. Uh, and this guitar, I think, quite literally changed my life. It's a big reason of why I have a YouTube channel, why I'm even making this video right now. It's literally the best purchase I've ever made, besides probably my wife's engagement ring. But still, uh, as far as guitar gear goes, this is the best thing I've ever purchased. Um, and it wasn't an easy decision or an easy purchase. I play this guitar on my channel all the time and I get asked about it a lot. When new people come to the channel and they see a video for the first time, you kind of can't help but notice this weird looking offset pink and gold sparkle uh, guitar. And it's got an interesting story behind it. So today I'm gonna tell that story. Back in February of 2017, I was playing in a band out of Nashville called Muddy Magnolias, and we were staying pretty busy. I was on the road two to three weeks each month, um, and I was really happy. I was busy. My main guitar at the time was this, my ES-335. Uh, this is also another guitar with a great story behind it. But I was looking for a P90 guitar. I'd never owned a P90, and I wanted one. I thought it would fit really well with the work I was doing, uh, and so I started my search. And I went down to Righteous Guitars here in Alpharetta, Georgia, because at the time they had a 1963 or 64 Gibson ES330, and I thought that that was gonna be it. I would go play that guitar and immediately fall in love with it. Long story short, it was kind of a dog. It was tough to play. It didn't really sound all that great. But while I was there that day, my friend Ben Calhoun from Righteous pulled this off of the wall. He said, why don't you give this a try? This is quite literally one of the best guitars in the store. And at first when I saw it, I was not a fan of it. I was like, what the hell? A pink, sparkly, offset, giant guitar? And he said, trust me, just try it. So I did, I took it down off the wall. He handed it to me. I sat down in the amp room and I played this chord. And immediately I knew something was special about this guitar. It rings like a bell. And I had never played an electric guitar that was this resonant and this loud. So we played it for about 20 minutes and immediately I fell in love. The guitar was articulate and dynamic and it was really exciting and inspiring to play. The downside was it was $4,000. And even though I was a touring musician at the time and I was working full time as a musician, I did not make nearly enough money to justify buying a $4,000 guitar. So I took it out to my wife, Tilly, who was there with me in the store at the time. She was my fiance actually at the time. We were just about to get married. I showed her the guitar. She thought it was rad. She loved it, uh, but needless to say, couldn't justify spending the cash, so we left the store that day. But this guitar literally haunted my thoughts for weeks after that. I would go back to the store and play it. Uh, I brought my dad to the store and showed it to him. Again, I didn't have the money to spend, and so I tried to just rationalize and try and come up with all these negative reasons of why I don't, it, well, it's weird looking and, uh, you know, I don't know about Novo. I've never heard of Novo. They might be kind of a weird brand, you know, all these things I was telling myself to talk myself out of it. And then quite literally one day in the car, I was talking about this guitar for probably the hundredth time until he looked at me and said, you need to go get that guitar. You need that guitar. Do whatever you have to do to go get it. So I did. I knew that in order to get this guitar, I had to sell a bunch of stuff. So I listed a 2001 Les Paul Custom. That was a birthday gift from my family. Sold that. I had a Fender 52 Hot Rod Telly that I sold. I had my first credit card that I was trying to build credit on, which had like a $500 limit, and I had about four or 500 bucks in savings. So I scraped together as much money as I could, literally every dollar and cent to my name. And at the beginning of March in 2017, I walked into Righteous that literally the moment they opened, and I put 
everything on the counter. I told Ben, I was like, okay, I need you to put this much on this card. Uh, I need you to put this much. Here's some cash. And literally scraped together the $4,000 and bought the guitar. And the crazy thing is later that day, another gentleman came into the shop to buy this guitar. I've since met him. He's a very nice guy. He's a bit of a boutique guitar collector. Uh, but he came in around lunchtime to purchase this guitar. So had I come in after lunch or early afternoon to Righteous, this guitar would have been gone. And I don't know what I'd be playing now, but it wouldn't be this. And that makes me very sad. So about two days after I bought this guitar, I drove up to Nashville because we were rehearsing for South by Southwest. And my first gig with this guitar was actually three shows in one day at South by Southwest. One of the things we did was an in-studio performance for Paste Magazine in Austin, Texas. And this footage, this is literally the first time I'm playing this guitar live in front of people still getting to know it. So after the South by Southwest shows, this became my number one guitar. I didn't really even play anything else for months after that. And that's where the next sort of crazy thing happened. I ended up meeting Dennis Fano and the Novo team because of this bridge, this mastery bridge. A few weeks after South by Southwest, I was on a church gig here in town and this tremolo arm got completely jammed in the slot here. Come to find out a little bit later, you're not actually supposed to remove this tremolo arm. Mastery apparently tells you not to do it because the tolerances here are so tight that something can get jammed in there and that's exactly what happened to me. A small piece of debris got jammed in there and completely locked up this arm. I sent Novo Guitars a DM on Instagram and at the time, they were in the middle of their move from Dennis Fano's basement in Pennsylvania down to their current shop in Nashville. I caught him at a really weird time. But I ended up talking to who now is a very good friend of mine, Matthew Timmons, uh, over Instagram, described the problem to him, and he set up a meeting. I was coming to Nashville later that week for rehearsals, and so I was literally one of the first people to go into the Novo shop. There were still boxes everywhere. It was basically just Matthew, Devin, and Dennis. They hadn't even started making guitars yet. And Dennis, who I just met that day, brought the guitar, set it down in his shop, and very graciously put a whole new tremolo system on this guitar for me, no questions asked. But that's the day that I met Dennis and met Matthew and kind of built the connection with Novo, which now is a pretty big thing for me. I love those guys. They've all become really good friends of mine. We work together pretty closely, both on YouTube and behind the scenes. And had this tremolo arm not gotten jammed, had this mastery tremolo not broken, essentially, uh, I might not have met them when I did. Keep in mind, this is all before YouTube. I was not making YouTube videos. I was not doing anything like this at the time. I was just playing in bands. But without this guitar, I actually don't think I would be doing YouTube at all. Around this same time, when Tilly and I got married uh, in May of 2017, I had moved into a new place in Decatur, Georgia. We were getting it set up, and I decided, once I had my little studio room set up in there, that I think I might wanna make a YouTube video about this guitar. And in the process of making this video, something clicked for me, this little spark kind of caught, which was, I think I might wanna start doing this more. I think I might wanna start making videos and talking about guitar stuff and teaching guitar stuff. And, oh, what if I brought a camera on the road with me and I filmed my experience on tour and behind the scenes and like actually what it's like to be a musician, to be a guitar player who's trying to make things work. Without making that demo of this guitar, I don't know that that idea would have really taken root. Maybe it would have, maybe it wouldn't, but this was the catalyst for me deciding to want to start making YouTube videos. So if you're familiar with Novo at all, you might notice a few things that are unique about this particular one. 
First of all, this is one of the last ones that Dennis built uh, in Pennsylvania. This was not finished in Nashville. To my knowledge, this is one that he finished in his basement um, right before moving to Nashville. And there's a few things that are unique about it. First of all, they no longer do the matched control plates here. Pretty much all Novos have the metal control plates like my Ceres T here. The other unique thing is the actual finish itself. Now, a lot of people have tried to do this uh, heather mist poly sparkle thing, uh, the pink sparkle thing, but they all are a little different than this guitar. And the reason is Novo makes guitars with nitro finishes. They shoot nitro lacquer, but this guitar is actually polyurethane. It's not nitro at all. And that allows them to get these big rose gold sparkle flakes in here that you can't quite get with the nitro lacquer. And I should give credit to where credit is due. This guitar's finish and look was actually the brainchild, the idea of Ben Calhoun at Righteous. He was the one that specced this guitar out for Righteous Guitars and ordered it custom from Novo. The pickups are also a little bit unique. These are Amalfitano P90s. Uh, they don't offer the Amalfitanos at Novo anymore, but I believe you can still get them if you ask nicely. But these are really, really great pickups. They're pretty hot, they're pretty high output. Uh, and they're a unique sound. Since owning this thing, I have taken it basically everywhere with me. It's been on gigs, good and bad, big and small. It's been all over Noah's latest record. Uh, it's really special. This guitar holds so much sentimental value and so many memories, even in the short time that I've had it. I will never, ever, ever part with this thing. It is hands down my favorite guitar. And I think a guitar that quite literally changed my life. Without this Saris J, I don't know that I'd be even making this video right now. I might be off doing something completely different. And it taught me a lesson when it comes to instruments or when it comes to gear, which is pay attention to that thing that happens when you play a guitar, when you play an amp or even a pedal. This thing that happens where there's this sort of like epiphany moment where you think, oh my God, this is special, this is different. Pay attention to that. If it's feasible, if it's possible for you to purchase that piece of gear, it may become your next favorite thing. And it may lead you to like start a YouTube channel and do a bunch of crazy stuff online, but that's a different thing. So that is the story of my Novo Ceres J, my favorite guitar. If you enjoyed this story, let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know if you wanna hear more stories like this on the channel. Once again, huge thanks to Matthew and Dennis and Devin and the whole team at Novo Guitars. They have grown substantially uh, since the time I purchased this guitar and, and since making that first video and meeting them all those years ago. They truly are, I think, one of the best guitar manufacturers and builders out there. And personally, I believe that Dennis Fano will go down in history as one of the greatest guitar designers and builders of all time. I truly believe he is that good. He is that brilliant. Um, and I cannot say enough good things about these guitars. This video is not sponsored in any way, by the way. Um, but if you want to know more about the Novo guitars, I'll link their stuff in the description box down below. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. My name is Rhett Shaw. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, there is no plan.